The day that you allow the opinions of the outside world to dictate the way you feel about yourself, it is the beginning of the end of you living a blessed and self-loving, secure life. Aiming at something and comparing yourself to it are not exactly the same thing. Plus, your bloody comparison is also a delusion. You know, that's another thing that you have to understand is that you look at the person you're jealous of. And really what you're doing is you're, you're looking through a very narrow aperture at a very thin slice of their life. You're looking at the thin slice of their life that's turning out the best, but you're also looking at a thin slice of their life that's marketed to be the best, right? And you have no idea what the horror of that person's life might be in its totality. What could you be if you dedicated every fucking day of your life for the next 20 years to that thing? What could you be? Here's the answer. Anything you fucking want. That's what you could be. You can do a lot more than you think in 20 fucking years. A lot more. All right? And by the way, you've probably got 60 years of life in front of you. Real talk. At minimum. Even if you're 40. We're getting into an age of technology where like, bro, you get an arm cut off, they'll fucking 3D print you a new fucking arm, stick it back on your body, dude. Like you, you, you guys might live for a hundred more years because of technology. And you're sitting here talking about small attainable goals, motherfucker, go conquer the fucking world, bro. That's what you're here to do. Stop being a fucking bitch, talking yourself out of it. We need greatness. We need fucking people that are willing to fucking have balls and go after shit. That's what the fuck we need. Listen, I understand what you're going through. I've been there, but I need you to understand this. Sometimes it takes certain things falling apart for better things to fall into place. Sometimes it takes losing what you're settling for to remind you of what you truly deserve. Sometimes it takes the most uncomfortable paths to lead your life to the most beautiful place. I know it's hard, but you'll never see the purpose of the storm until you see the growth it produced. You'll never see the purpose of someone leaving your life until you see what's best for your life. You'll never understand why you're going through what you're going through until you see the strength, the power, the growth that it built inside of you. Like that proverb says, just when the caterpillar thought the world was over, it became a butterfly. So understand, just because something is over doesn't mean your life is over. This chapter is not your story. This moment is not your identity. I want you to understand this and believe this, Andy. Your current situation is not your final destination.